That's not fair. When was the last time you heard that? When was the last time you said that? That's not fair. Was it when your sister got a larger piece of cake? Was it when someone at school didn't get in trouble for doing the exact thing that got you in trouble? When was the last time you said, that's not fair? Today, we're going to listen to a story that Jesus tells in which one of the workers doesn't think that his pay is fair. But first, friends, welcome back to Church on the Hill and our online children's ministry. We're so glad to have you with us today. Last week, we learned a Bible memory verse. So before we get to today's story, I want to ask, do any of you remember it? Great. Let's say it together now. Do not be afraid. Stand firm and see the deliverance the Lord will accomplish for you today. Great job, everyone. Now, grab your Bibles and let's pray before we listen to today's story. Dear Jesus, thank you for this day. Speak to us now in your holy word. Amen. Today's story is about people working in a vineyard. Jesus tells the story in Matthew chapter 20. Matthew is the first of the four Gospels in the New Testament in the Bible. Jesus told the vineyard worker's story to help us to understand the kingdom of heaven. So let's listen to the story now. Matthew chapter 20 verses 1 through 16. For the kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with the workers for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. When he went out about nine o'clock, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace. And he said to them, you also go into the vineyard and I will pay you whatever is right. And so they went. When he went out again around noon and about three o'clock, he did the same. And at about five o'clock, he went out and found others standing around. And he said to them, why are you standing here idle all day? They said to him, because no one has hired us. He said to them, you also go into the vineyard. When evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to his manager, Call the laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last and then going to the first. When those hired about five o'clock came, each of them received the usual daily wage. Now, when the first came, they thought that they would receive more, but each of them also received their usual daily wage. And when they received it, they grumbled against the landowner saying, These last worked only one hour, and you have made them equal to us who have borne the burden of the day and the scorching heat. But he replied to one of them, Friend, I am doing you no wrong. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what belongs to you and go. I choose to give to this last the same as I give to you. Am I not allowed to do what I choose with what belongs to me? Or are you envious because I am generous? So the last will be first, and the first will be last. Friends, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If this story is about the kingdom of heaven, what do we learn from it? Or how are we treated in the kingdom of God? How do you think you would feel if after you worked all day, someone told you the last will be first and the first will be last? You'd probably be upset. But it seems as if Jesus is trying to tell us that the kingdom of heaven works a little differently. It just doesn't seem fair, does it? But I want you to imagine the joy and excitement you would feel 
if you are the last one to the field that day, if you are the last one chosen or picked, your pay would mean that you could still feed your family and buy clothes for them. Today's Bible memory verse is the last verse from the story, Matthew chapter 20, verse 16. So the last will be first, and the first will be last. Let's say it together as we begin to learn it this week. So, the last will be first, and the first will be last. Let's do it one more time. So the last will be first, and the first will be last. In your leaflets today, there's an activity called playing favorites. You will cut out the rectangles, and on one side you'll write one of your favorite things, and then on the other side you'll write your least favorite things and then you'll tape them together in a long line. And then after twisting them just so, you'll tape it all together into what's called a Mobius strip, and you can scroll and read through your items. Let me read you some of mine now. So I have pizza, books, hiking, and cooking. Those are probably some of my favorite things. Now, let's keep going. Taking out the trash, sour foods, cleaning the toilet, and the empty cookie jar. These are some of my least favorite things. But the Mobius strip means that you can just keep scrolling along and somehow it all comes together your favorite things and your least favorite things, the first and the last are all in one flow. In it, the front is the back and the back is the front. Just like our memory verse teaches us today, and just like Jesus teaches us with the story of the vineyard workers. Jesus teaches us that even when it doesn't seem fair, there's still room for everyone in the kingdom of heaven. Who's last and who's first doesn't always make sense to us. But what we do know is that no matter the order, God loves us all unconditionally. For our closing prayer today, I'll say a line and then you'll respond after me. The last are first and the first are last. Let's try that together. Dear Jesus, when others cut in line to get the best seat, and you say the last are first and the first are last, when we wish we were on the winning team, the last are first and the first are last, when we get straight A's and when we barely pass, the last are first and the first are last, when we lose our temper, the last are first and the first are last. When we share your love, the last are first and the first are last. In your name we pray, Jesus. Amen. Have a great week.